Uh, Jamie Atkins, uh, well bowled today. Your, your first Fifer in first class cricket. What, what, what does that feel like? Yeah, it's obviously like great achievement. Um, you know, it's great to be out with the boys all day. You know, it's a hard fought, uh, innings, but I thought we stuck at it really well. And yeah, obviously delighted to uh, pick up the five at the end of the day. And particularly because it came after tea, and you know, you've been out there for a long time. What, what was the message at tea? Just it's just to run in as hard as you can. Like I have been all day. You know, you, there was always an opportunity there with. You know, just getting out Milan and uh, a few of the others that we could genuinely have a real go at them and try and clear them up and have a good uh, session tonight with the bat. Um, Sauls came up to me and said that I was going to bowl from this end and cast at the other end. So we knew that if we could build up a bit of pressure, you know, run in as hard as you can, you could pick up a few wickets. We'll talk about the response in a few moments' time in the state of the game, but I just wondered what comfort it gives you with Jack Carson bowling at the other end as well. Yeah, he's, I mean, his economy speaks for itself in first-class cricket. I mean, there's been a few passages in the games I've played with him where we've tied a few maidens up and it's just, it creates so much pressure that you don't get of some other bowl as well. And, uh, yeah, he, he just, he's a fantastic cricketer in his own right, yeah. He certainly is. And just in terms of yourself, what what is the instruction from Ben on a, on a track like this? It looks pretty flat. Is it just to yeah. bowl as quick as you can? It's just to run as hard as you can, try and hit that top of off. I mean, it's, it, keep it pretty simple for someone as young as me. Um, make sure you use your bumper, you know, on quite a flat track. You've got to try and hit that top of off as hard as you can and run in. And, you know, the rewards will come when you hit the pitch harder, maybe do a little bit more off it and... Uh, we saw that maybe with a couple of the first uh, dismissals. But, yeah, no, it's, it's, Ben's been great all uh, all season with me and the young boys. So, uh, yeah, we're really chuffed to have him. You're only just 19. What, what's it like coming here and, and bowling against, a, you know, quality player? I mean, that was a quality, nearly a double hundred from David Milan yeah. and Gary Balance and the like. Yeah, I mean, like he, when, he was in his, when he was in his hundreds, it was almost like, where do I bowl to him? Um, we, were try, we were trying to get him off strike for a long, for a long part of the game. Now, he's a, he's a top quality batsman. It's a privilege to bowl to someone like him and but Gary Balance, who, you know, you grew up watching um, on the TV. But, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity and... Um, it's, it's tough, but, you know, you've got, to, you've got to go with it. You've got to keep running in, keep hitting that pitch. And, you know, the rewards nearly came when he came for Henry, um, unfortunately. But, yeah, no, I thought that all the boys plugged as, away as hard as we could um, all day. And I thought that, you know, it was a tough day. But bowling to quality players like that is going to be tough. Does it give a sense of togetherness when there's you, there's Henry, who's 19, uh, Dan Ibrahim, who's only 16, Jack Carson's only 20, but he bowls like he's older than that. Yeah, so is, exactly. is there a nice togetherness about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we were all warming up and bowling at the same time the other day, and it felt a bit like, you know, before an academy game. Um, we were just, we, it just makes you so much more relaxed. You know, you have people that you grow up with playing cricket around you. You know, I played with Croaks for six, seven years now, maybe. Cast for five or six. I mean, it's a... It's just great to be out there and share these experiences with each other, you know, um, and it's just, yeah, it's a great experience. Uh, let's talk about the response, because I must admit I was thinking 23 overs, it's a tough 23 overs, but what, what was your impression of the way that Tom and, uh, and Alistair played at the end there? Oh, they were brilliant. Um, it just takes so much pressure off everyone else, you know, that they're still at the crease, they've already had, you, they've already had a lot of overs out there today, they would get feel for the pitch, um, and they come back tomorrow, I thought Ali on debut, all game actually, I know he didn't get the runs that he may have liked to but the amount of balls he faced, I mean, it's just I spoke to him the other, the other day about it. It was, it was brilliant to see, you know, him churning up ball after ball on, you know, what first morning wasn't an easy uh, pitch play on, much, much less easy than now. Um, and Hainsey has just been doing what he's done all season. Um, he's been brilliant for us. Um, but, yeah, no, obviously chuff for the boys and it makes it a lot easier going into tomorrow, which will looking like a hard task in its own right. Yeah, and I was just going to say, final question, how, how much more confident does that give the dressing room tomorrow? You know, it's, you know, you've still got 10 wickets intact tonight. Definitely. I mean, like I was thinking in that last over, we really can't afford to lose a wicket here. New batsman goes to the crease tomorrow, they'll be bang up for it. Um, but you, you, we, we know that these boys are going to be going half for ni- the 96 tomorrow. Um, and we know that we've just got to bat as long as we can. You know, they put up a monster score and we've, we know that we can bat. If we bat as well as we can do, we can bat all day. How are the legs tonight? <laughs> they'll be sore, but I'll be having a dip in the pool. So uh, they'll be all good for tomorrow. Um, you know, if we have to, have to bowl again, there's a slight chance of that. So they'll be all good, you know.